Well, that's right. After Mark Rogowski was granted parole last year for a second time, Governor Newsom once again reversed the state parole board's decision to release him. I was very disappointed. Um, Mr. Rogowski's absolutely earned this. Laura Shepard served as Mark Rogowski's attorney. He's just a peace-loving man. He really is. When I realized that that's, that feels like cognitive dissonance when you contrast that with the horrificness of his crime. I wonder what I'll do. At one time a superstar in the skate scene, the North County resident who went by Gator starred in movies and music videos throughout the 1980s and was sponsored by Vision Skateboard. In 1991, Rogowski admitted to killing Jessica Bergston, who was a friend of his ex-girlfriend. He abducted her, handcuffed her, and then sexually assaulted her, then bludgeoned her with a metal steering wheel lock. Placed her inside of a surfboard bag, and while inside the surfboard bag, uh, then strangled her. His crime is, is tragic and horrific, but he has done everything a person could possibly do to make amends, to rehabilitate himself, to try to help others inside the prison to see the error of their ways as well. Including a self-help program he's developed behind bars called Gender Abuse Prevention. In his decision to overturn the state parole board's decision, Governor Newsom wrote that Rogowski has made efforts at self-improvement, but also referenced recent verbal altercations with fellow prisoners, adding that Rogowski must do additional work to understand what led them to act so violently. San Diego County District Attorney Summer Steffen also vehemently opposed Rogowski's release on parole, saying earlier that the victim's loved ones were devastated by the board's decision in June to grant parole, adding the family and friends of Jessica Bergston deserve the continued promise of justice in this case. Shepard, who believes the governor's decision to overturn the board's decision may be politically motivated, says Rogowski is sad but resigned by the reversal. As a member yeah. of the public, you know, I don't want to waste any more taxpayer money keeping him in prison, and I want to see the good he can do out here. And Rogalski will be eligible to be considered for parole once again this November in about 10 months' time.